Every now and then, the sun and the moon align to create a spectacular sight. Sounds romantic, but it's just scientific. And this week, we're quite literally covering the topic of eclipses. Let's start with the basics. A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, blocking the light from the sun and casting a shadow. They can only happen during the new moon phase, and the moon's orbit is tilted five degrees off from the sun's, making this a pretty rare occasion. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon is closest. It gives it a signature halo from the blocked sunlight. It can have an interesting reaction at ground level, from flower petals closing up as if it were nighttime, to spooked horses and silenced cicadas. There are also partial eclipses, where the sun and the moon barely miss a line. And lunar eclipses switch it up by having the Earth get in the way of the sunlight, reaching the moon instead. Overall, most eclipses happen four to seven times a year worldwide. This upcoming total solar eclipse may be the celestial event of a lifetime for millions of people, with the sun fully blocked for up to five minutes in places like Dallas, Indianapolis, Toledo, and Buffalo. If you're traveling to get the full experience, remember to get your pair of special sunglasses, which reminds me, let's all hope for clear skies the day of.